Hey guys, Lima here. The video that you are watching right now is a very special video on my channel because this is my 300th YouTube video. And for this special occasion, I thought I'd do a special video, a video which surprisingly I have not made before. And so today's the day and we're gonna be looking at why I started coin collecting. I started coin collecting about six years ago and this is basically the farthest back that I can trace my coin collecting and that is this poker money bag right here that I got from my grandfather. We call him Grumpy. This bag actually has a lot of family history. Before it was given to me, it was my mom's, and before it was my mom's, it was my grandfather's, and before that, it was my great-great uncle Norman's. So my grandfather's uncle gave this bag to him, then he gave it to my mom, then my mom gave it to me. But the story behind this gets even more interesting and even more cool because Uncle Norman was in the Navy during World War II, and he was fighting the Japanese during World War II in the Pacific. And some of these coins, I'm not sure about all of them, but some of these he actually got while he was in the Pacific. See, some of these coins are just so cool when you know the history behind them. You can see this is like basically a mint state coin from Fiji in 1942 is exactly the time period that Uncle Norman was in the Pacific and so he probably got this coin soon after it was minted and it's probably been in this bag for most of its life. There's a couple of coins from New Zealand 1942 again same year basically mint state probably like an AU, still has mint luster. So those, those are some of the countries in there, New Zealand, Fiji, Australia, 1944. There's more little New Zealands here, and there's also the Philippines. Again, these are basically mint state coins. They just have a little bit of patina on them. And then this is the coolest coin in the bag and probably the most valuable coin in the bag. So I put it in this just to protect it a little bit more. This is what I believe to be an authentic Chinese yuan, commonly referred to as the fat man dollar. These are pretty rare because they were counterfeited like crazy. This variety, or the seven characters variety, was minted between 1919 and 1921, commonly known as the Fat Man Dollar. Up next, Australia. Here's a 1944 penny. That's right in that time period. King George VI. Here's a penny from 1919. Commonwealth of Australia, so it's a little different. 1922. Those have King George V and another 1944. With what seems to be some lamination error. Up next is Canada. These are super cool. These are the Canadian V nickels. These are in a very nice condition and they are from that wartime period. You could compare these to U.S. Silver War nickels. These don't have any silver in them, but they are a slightly different composition from the other nickels, and these are really cool. So you just think about how he probably got them. It's just really cool to think about. He also had a 1930 Canadian nickel, and he had two silver dimes, one from 1964, and then this really cool 1909 King Edward dime and this has the broad leaves variety pretty interesting next up is that really cool fiji from 1942 it's just super cool knowing where he got it and when he got it and how he got it it's just really cool here is one franc from france 1938 it has a little bit of a gold patina to it pretty cool. 
Then here are the coins from the Philippines. There are three of these 10 centavos, all from 1944. They're in pretty nice condition, but they have a strong patina on them. And then there's this one, which is really nice, also from 1944, and it's in pretty nice condition. And then this one is really interesting. It has a very red color to it, almost like it was colored with a Sharpie or something. I'm not sure what the color came from, but it's also from 1944. It's one centavo. Next up is New Zealand. New Zealand has the biggest batch of coins. This is a one penny from 1940. Right here is a little mini New Zealand three pence from 1934. It's pretty cool. And then there's three of these. There's two from 1934. And then there's one from 1943 in pretty nice condition. And these are one shillings. And I love these coins so much with the kiwi on them. So this one's from 1934 with King George V. And then this one's in really nice condition. 1942 with King George VI. And then finally, there's a New Zealand half crown from 1933 with so much really nice detail. King George V. And here's a one half franc from 1966 from Switzerland and a Mexican 20 centavos from 1943. So as you can probably imagine, as a 10 year old, I was very, very, very excited to see all these new coins that I've never ever seen before. Obviously, at the time, I had never seen these coins from New Zealand with the kiwi on them. I'd obviously never seen a New Zealand half crown or a Fiji shilling. So I was extremely excited then to see these coins, and I'm still excited today to look at these coins, knowing how much cool history there is behind them. And it's really, really fun to think about what Uncle Norman might have been doing during the time. I'm very proud to have this as part of my collection now. And this bag of poker money is one of the first things that I ever added to my real coin collection. You know, when I was 10 years old, I probably had a little piggy bank, but I didn't really consider that a coin collection. It wasn't really until my mom gave me this bag until I really started a coin collection. That's when I started watching YouTube videos about coins and I started learning more about it. I even still have my little notebook that I that I makeshift made that I used to take notes about coins when I first started watching the YouTube videos about coins. I made like the misplaced mint mark. I made notes about nickels and like what errors to look for. I made notes about double dies and made sketches. So this was really the start coin collecting for me. I never finished I never finished this makeshift notebook. But you know, I made notes in there when I watched YouTube. And eventually, I made my own videos. I've been making YouTube videos for over 5 years about coins, but I've been collecting for about a year longer than that. My first YouTube video about coins happened the summer just after I went on a vacation to Europe. And in Europe, I collected so many coins from, you know, Germany and Italy, all these like Euro coins, and it's just built and built on from then. But it all started with this, and this bag of poker money, and that was super special. So that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed my 300th video on my YouTube channel. I really look forward to collecting on and on, probably until forever. And I'll continue making videos about it. So that's it for today's video, and of course I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.